retirement of a longtime state legislator led to a special election in the 68th State House District in Tioga, Bradford, and Potter counties. Let's spend a few minutes with the winner of that race, newly sworn in State Representative Clint Owlett. Welcome. Well, thank you so much for having me. I'm glad to be here. Oh, it's great to have you. And uh, Representative Matt Baker served this area for about 25 years, yeah. so it's been a bit long time since a new yeah. face has been here. <laughs> yep. Can you just tell the folks a little bit about your background and the things that you did prior to being yeah. elected? Yeah, I actually grew up in the district, um, long-time resident. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, I grew up on a dairy farm okay. um, in uh, north, north central Tioga County uh, near Wellsboro and um, grew up there um, so I know the values of the area and I love the people of the district. Um, I actually uh, went to school at New Covenant Academy, graduated from there and then continued some education at Three Springs Ministries where I uh, focused on education um, with uh, experiential education and um, servant leadership. I served there for nine years and uh, became the general manager and the uh, assistant director. Um, but after that, I decided to start my own business, and I have a, a decorative concrete business and a construction business. So that's what we're doing now, small business owners. So, <laughs> yep. so from a small business owner uh, to, to making that transition, what made you decide to run for the state house? You know, I, I, I tell people that I was bit by the service bug <laughs> serving with the teenagers. And, um, so I love serving people, and that's what this job is. It's, it's serving the people of the 68th District and representing them well mm -hmm. down here in Harrisburg, as well as um, the day-to-day -day operations um, there in the district. So that's what I'm looking forward to the most right. is being able to, to serve, the, serve the people there. So, so you, you've come in at an interesting time in the calendar year. Um, it's June, and the budget will be coming soon, and so you'll be asked to put up a vote on that state budget. Uh, what priorities or guiding principles will you use when you're deciding whether or not to vote yes or no on that yeah. spending plan? It's a great question, and um, thought a lot about that over the last uh, couple weeks. And um, you know, it's going to be a learning process for me stepping in at the middle right. of the budget. And we don't have the the back history or of the la and the conversations over the last several months. So a big part of it's going to be listening and learning during this right. process. Um, but I'd like to apply the same principles that. That, that work in, in my home and your home where, you know, when we run out of money, <laughs> we stop spending. Mm -hmm. So um, no new taxes, um, on time and balanced um, okay. is what I'd like to see happen. So, And you're rep representing a very rural area yeah. um, as you walked around and talked to people. What issues are they most concerned about? What issues are, are you going to bring to Harrisburg from the folks back home? Yeah. Well, the biggest industry that's struggling right now in our area is the, the dairy mm -hmm. and the agricultural industry. We've, we've had um, uh, low milk prices for a long time, well over 27 months, and um, they're struggling. And so I want to encourage them in some long-term sustainability options, um, marketing strategies that we can continue to help that, that industry. Um, the opioid epidemic is hitting our rural, rural areas um, and our area isn't exempt from that. We're, we're being hit hard. Um, so um, continuing to work with law enforcement and family groups in the area, um, the local DAs to be able to um, support them and be able to hit this uh, head on. Um, the other is, is small business. Our, our small businesses in our area need our help. So I'm looking forward to, to working with them and anything I can do to help the, the small business as well as the large businesses, they need, they need help. Um, in our area. Education, um, our, our rural schools tend to be uh, forgotten. It costs a lot more to, to, with our transportation. Sure. Um, so we're going to focus a lot on the education as well as reforming taxes and, and hopefully lowering taxes for our families. So uh, those are the things that I'm looking forward to working on. Sounds great. And finally, um, people in this area are used to going to uh, a certain district office. Did that district office location change? Where are you at? Where can folks yeah. come visit and talk and, and get the services yeah. they need? We were able to keep everything the way that Representative Baker um, had it set up, which is great. So our office will be right on Main Street in Wellsboro, um, as well as we have an office in Troy and then down here in Harrisburg. So everything will stay the same. Our constituent services are nine times that of any other representative. So we're going to continue that legacy and uh, hopefully continue to serve our district well. Well, that sounds great. And thank Thanks. you so much for spending time with us today. Thanks for having me. Sure. 
And if you have comments or questions about this or any other legislative topic, Representative Allett's contact information will be shown in just a few seconds. Thanks for spending a few minutes with State Representative Clint Allett. Thank you.